Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host for today's ISC webinar. Today, I'm pleased that we have John Jagerson with us, and John will be talking about leverage in the FX options market. This is a fascinating topic as the spot market is undergoing some potential changes. And John will be talking about that. Of course, we don't know the uh, final changes. That's uh, subject to regulators. But there are some changes coming. And John will be talking about the opportunities in the FX options market. John's an author, a co-founder, and he's a contributor to learningmarkets.com. And I urge you to bookmark his site, learningmarkets.com, so you can learn more about uh, all the facets of the financial markets. Uh, he's got uh, things on ETFs, options, currencies, um, so many more topics. So please go and check out learningmarkets.com. Uh, of course, anything that we discuss today should not be construed as investment advice. Access margin and commission are not included. And you might want to go to a site called optionseducation.org to learn more about options. Uh, of course, considering learningmarkets.com and fxoptions.com. Um, you can trade these currency options right through your equity options broker. Uh, they're exchange listed securities. They're settled in US dollars, European style exercise. And they can, of course, be traded as spreads. The symbols are right there on your screen. Uh, and you can go and learn more about all the currency options that are available at fxoptions.com. Without further ado, I would like to introduce John Jakerson. John, thanks for joining us at the IC. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, Steve. Thanks a lot. I, it's always fun to be here. And uh, today, I I, uh, I got several notes back on uh, from. And, and today I hope to answer a question I've been getting letters about or emails about for a while, actually. And it's, it's related to some of the changes that are occurring in the Forex market and uh, what, what's my opinion about uh, what's available as an alternative in the FX futures market. I, I think these are actually really excellent questions. And right now, while the industry, you know, the, the Forex industry, is it being disrupted, and that's it's you know all of our contacts too on a regular basis on the on the institution I mean on the forex over the counter forex side. It's this is really presenting a lot of changes, and I think that this makes it a, a good opportunity for traders to start thinking about uh, some of these changes and and about some of the alternatives. So what I would like to do, I I tend to like to you know um, spend more time looking at you know the charts, and I have a chart. Well, a couple of charts today, and uh, a spreadsheet that we're going to be looking at uh, the, to make our point. So I want to make sure that, uh, Steve, maybe you could give me a heads up if, uh, if you, you can't see my charts or anything. Yeah, we should be looking I'm at look, We're, we're looking at your Metastock uh, programs. It looks perfect. OK, excellent, excellent. So, and, so we're, 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 we're going to. Uh, flip back and forth a little bit to uh, between um, a couple of charts and a spreadsheet because I want to make a uh, particular uh, a point today. And I know that we've got uh, actually a lot of Forex traders on uh, here in the presentation today because uh, I've already gotten a couple of notes back from folks who are on a line right now. Uh, so I hope to be able to address some of your questions uh, right up front. So, but let, let's talk about, uh, let me put one quick disclaimer up in, uh, in front of my presentation. I, I have, and I'm willing to admit this, a fairly strong bias towards exchange-traded products over not off-exchange-traded products. So I think that the benefits of transparency are uh, uh, well worth any possible disadvantages or any of the advantages that may be offered off-exchange. And I actually think that this is particularly true with Forex uh, versus you know, currency options is just one case study. In the in the Forex market, one of the things that attracts investors 
is leverage. So these advertised leverage rates. If you don't know this, by the way, um, there are uh, a, lo a lot of uh, Forex dealers, over-the-counter Forex dealers, will advertise leverage rates that are anywhere from 100 to 1 to 400 to 1. And he here's what that means. So right now, what we're looking at, this is a chart of the uh, Euro uh, USD exchange rate. So this is, this is the dollar versus the Euro. So right now, it costs $1.34. Uh, 34.1 cents, really, to, to buy a euro. And as the dollar gets stronger against the euro, this particular exchange rate will drop, which it has been here lately. So we've been dealing with, you know, problems in Greece and all this kind of stuff that's uh, uh, been detrimental to the value of the euro. And, uh, you know, traders have been seeking shelter from that particular problem. And so they've been bidding up the value. You know, so they've been moving their investments into dollars and moving out of euros. And that's that's changed the exchange rate, so now it costs fewer U.S. dollars uh, to the to the euro. Now, you know, things look like they may be settling out a little bit. I've been thinking that the dollar was due for a correction, uh, meaning the dollar is likely to get weakened here in the near term. I've, I've been thinking it's been coming for a little while. So but we've just been getting a little bit of a bounce the last couple of days where it's now costing, you know, more dollars to buy a euro. And what forex traders will do is, you know, if they, if they sign up with a, uh, you know, an over-the-counter situation, uh, they can essentially control a hundred thousand units, or, or actually, let's go with the mini contract. They can control ten thousand units of a currency, for, you know, if they have a hundred to one leverage, well, they could control that for a hundred dollars. So if they had an account that had at least a hundred dollars in it, then they have the ability to control 10,000 units of a, of a particular currency. And of course, if the currency goes way up, great, uh, if they were long. If they were short and the currency goes way down, it, it, that's great too. Uh, so they can trade both sides of the market, and that leverage could result in big profits. Here's the problem, though, and you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So leverage also is... Uh, when it's, it's been used in this industry for a long time as an advertising gimmick. Because in, in all reality, any, any trader who actually was using the maximum amount of leverage, like they were maxing out their account, uh, buying as many contracts as they possibly could based on the leverage ratios that they were enabled to use, they're, they're broke very quickly. Uh, if, if you want to see, by the way, a little bit of insight into uh, – uh, what happens to the majority of Forex accounts? There's a major Forex dealer who was actually l moving towards an IPO uh, last year, and they disclosed their numbers. So you can go look it up yourself. It's all public information. You can back in and see what their account churn rate was like. Now, so what I'm going to do is contrast, you know, now, but don't get me wrong. I understand that leverage is exciting. Uh, and it enables you know, a, a, an investor with a small amount of capital to uh, uh, make a fairly big investment. So, it, so I understand that it is exciting, and for traders who don't have any problems with risk and you know, willing to take on a little bit of risk, it, it can be very interesting. But what I want to do is contrast what's, what goes on in the uh, Forex market versus what leverage is like in the options market, the, FX, the currency options market. Now, it's a little bit different. It's not as easy as saying, well, you know, if, if the over-the-counter market is 100 to 1 to 400 to 1, then the options market is 25 to 1 or 50 to 1. It, it, it does, options don't really work like that. But, but if we make a couple of assumptions, uh, we, we can do a little bit of comparison. And so that's what I wanted. That's, that's the question I've been asked over and over again since some of these rule changes have been proposed. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.